I like to play on the psychology of the market, right? So I'm, I'm generally more thinking about what are the majority of people doing um, and what is then, what are they not going to expect and what's going to reject the majority of people. And I guess you could say, why don't you think about what the few big players are going to do? And that for me is not something that I ever think like, what is, the, what is another well going to be doing? What's their play? My perspective is I don't really, I don't really care what they're going to be doing. It doesn't really bother me. All I'm going to be thinking is what's going to wreck the majority of people. And I know some people hate when I say that, but it's just kind of like what, what, it's what happens. It, what wrecks the majority of people is normally what happens. So I'm, I'm not ever thinking about what's another well doing, what's somebody with, you know, what's another market maker we're going to be thinking. It, it, that, 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 that never bothers me. It's never something that I contemplate. All I'm thinking is what's going to wreck the majority of people. And, you know, if, if we put in the high here, how many people have been wrecked off of a off of a retest to the value area high? It's, you know, not really anybody's going to be wrecked here. And there's nothing. There's no massive volume, no massive liquidity here. Um, so you know, I personally wouldn't take the retest off this value area high. Do I think other big players are going to have the similar thought process to me? That's the only thing that I would think. Are other people going to be thinking the same as me? Like bigger players? Again, it's nothing I've ever thought. I've never thought. Or are the other big players going to be thinking the same as me? Because it doesn't bother me. Once I've got my entry, my stop loss in my validation, it's up to the market now. Um, but that said, I guess really, if I had to like think about it, I would say that a lot of other big players. We well, have to remember there's two types of big players, right? In Bitcoin, there's the early in early investors that have thousands of Bitcoin just because they were early, and this is what I'd call still dumb money. They don't actually know what they're doing. Or you have, <laughs> or you have the other good traders that have you know, successfully traded Bitcoin and now have a lot of Bitcoin. And I would then say, well, if a, if a good trader has worked his way up to have thousands of Bitcoin, then I think it's also unlikely he's going to take that trade. That's just based off of my opinion, though, as well, right? Because I wouldn't take that trade. So I think if another good trader has the same amount of Bitcoin, then it's probably he's not going to take the trade because the trade's not great. So, yeah, I guess... Yeah, to answer your question, I, I don't ever think about what a, is another big trader doing. I've never, ever thought about it. All I think about what are the kind of, sort of smaller fish or the majority of people doing because they're the people that get wrecked. And, um, yeah, that, that, that's all I would ever think about. And that's just based off of market psychology, right? Um, yeah, that, that would be my answer, to be honest. <laughs>